This is Patrick with FullMetalRock.com. Pleasure speaking with Gemini Syndrome. Last night before last, uh, Mushroomhead show in Lafayette, Louisiana. It was a pretty killer show. Yeah, all the days are running to one, so I had to think for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, cool, man. Uh, y'all got signed from Warner Brother Records. Uh, how did that happen? That's uh, y'all submitted yourself, or they found you? Um, Warner Brothers, the way that happened was, you know, we were just playing in L.A. and through the the way that, you know, kind of everyone knows each other and we're kind of spreads around, um, they got, you know, word about us just through the grapevine of people talking. And uh, specifically, Ian Cripps was really, really excited about us. And he pretty much, you know, kept us in his pocket waiting for the moment, you know, when it was ready to present, you know, to to everyone else at the label to, you know, to see if we could make it work. And, and he, you know, did it. He uh, kept track of us and then submitted us, you know, to the higher-ups. And, and then that's kind of how it happened. We just got signed. Something took off, yeah. Hell yeah. That's for the tour you're on now. It's a pretty badass package. Is this the, one of the biggest tours y'all been on as far as date-wise or bands? Yeah, I think this is the biggest tour we've done as of yet. Yeah, we played a few bigger shows here and there, but consistently, you know, day after day after day for the tour, this is definitely the biggest, best tour we've been doing ever. Yeah, it's all in Mushroom Head. I mean, those guys have been doing this a long time underground, so they have a pretty crazy following. How's the reception been from, the, like, the Mushroom Head fans? It's been killer, man. Every show's been, you know, a really positive response from people, and they get you know, fans coming up afterwards saying, I've never heard of you guys, but you've got a new fan. And that's been pretty much consistent every show we've done so far, so it's been a really warm warm welcome from their camp. Killer, killer. Yeah, I mean, like, when I saw y'all, all I heard was the Pleasure and Pain track, and I had no idea what to expect, and watching y'all, I was just, a lot of people were standing back just like, damn, who are these guys again, where they came from? I mean, just a real unique sound. How, how do y'all, did y'all classify y'all sound, sound to a certain genre, or...? Just music. I mean, we're, we're a rock band. I mean, there's a billion different categories to band. Yeah. Um, I guess the, I mean, the the instinctual thing that other people say about us is that they would say that we're, you know, a metal or a new metal type of band. But in reality, that's kind of one dimensional for us. We're, you know, we have a lot of different layers and things that we do, and we're, you know, pleasure and pain. I understand. As a first impression, pleasure and pain kind of fits that mold. Yeah. But, you know, we do a lot of different things. And we're more of, a, I guess, a, a heavier alternative band. Yeah, that, the, the, the term I've been hearing lately that I like is new alternative. I'm kind of into that. New alternative? Yeah. yeah. You know, like, when, when new metal was new metal, and everyone was like, hey, it's a new version of metal. It's kind of like, I guess, what we are is a, a newer version of alternative. Cool. Yeah, that's that's a good description because they, I, like I said, I was expecting almost a almost a rock band. It kind and then when I heard it, I was like, oh this shit, this is like this got Tool, this got some metal. You know, it had a little bit of every kind of, a little bit of everything, which was kind of a unique sound, which is hard to find a unique sound watching open a band because usually it's the same kind of generic cookie cutter bands. But uh, y'all shit definitely was different, man. I was impressed. I actually bought a CD. <laughs> so it was awesome. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it was killer. Uh, so what, as far as coming up, what do y'all have? Uh, trying to, y'all have any more to set up after this tour? As far as touring or? Um, but the tour, well, when this tour ends, we do a few dates with Otherwise on the way home, and then we go back to LA and we work on a bunch of you know internal things, um, you know, getting ready for the album, video stuff like that, photo shoots, uh, do all that stuff at home, and then we're going to go back out. Um, we can't announce the tour yet because it hasn't been officially announced. Gotcha, gotcha. But um, we will be April 11th to May 25th with a, a certain tour that um, should be announced in the next few days. And, um, and in the middle of that tour, we'll be doing um, the radio shows like Welcome to Rockville, uh, Rockfest in Tampa, Rockfest um, outside of, I think, Charleston, South Carolina, and Rock on the Range. And then I think we're going to get confirmed possibly for a few other ones too. Cool, cool. So when, uh, what can you expect, I guess, the, the, the new album? We're shooting for uh, shooting for summer, summertime. Cool. Yeah, so like July, August. Nothing's concrete yet, but that's just the general plan. Just yeah. get it out before the fall. Yep, yep. Cool, man. I can't wait. Well, the, the, as far as the name goes, is there a certain reason for the name? It's kind of unique. 
Um, the name at first was a, a general just idea that kind of appeared, and then um, and it just seemed like a cool combination of words. And then, you know, thinking about it more, it it, it lent itself to a lot more depth and meaning. And it was it ended up being like the perfect explanation for what we've been doing musically and, and just kind of how we are as, as people and artists. Um, the, the simple explanation of it is just, you know, Gemini's twins and duality syndrome is, you know, something you're born with. So it's kind of saying that, you know, that, you know, in life we're all born with a balance of, you know, and a duality, you know, good and bad and up and down, left and right. Um, that's, that's my long-winded version. Aaron has a way more poetic <laughs> sentence for it. That's this. Uh, you know, Gemini is the, the duality sign of of the zodiac, and it represents kind of the yin and yang of the negative. And uh, the syndrome is the, the human condition that we're all inherent with that we experience from birth to death. Man, it's just constantly trying to balance those two polar opposites and make make your life a cohesive thing. Cool too. Killer. And as far as any new fans listening or future fans, uh, where, where can you find information about the tour and information about anything else happening, happening, new tours and everything else? All the information on us, it's, it's you know, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, GeminiSyndrome.com. Um, there's either information on there or links to information. And um, also on our Facebook, which is Facebook.com slash GeminiSyndrome. And, you know, we, you know, we also have a Twitter um, so twitter.com slash Gemini Syndrome. Um, but, you know, between the, the, those three, you'll find any information you need on us, and we update it constantly. Thank you to Mushroom Head for having us out, and thank you to the other bands that we're playing with, Final Trigger and Society's Plague. Uh, everybody's been great. And I guess thank you to our team. You know, we're out here because of our work and theirs. Yep. And thank you to all the sinners out there, all of our fans. And friends and family. Cool deal, man.